do they? I want to put through how you can read style courses as a student of University of Nigeria and the integrated course. Definitely, before you can read style courses, you must have paid your school fees. And of course, if you are not a student, there is no way you will be able to pay school fees. Yeah, the first thing you will do now is visit the portal, portal.university.org, and it gets you to this integrated portal. You log in with your matriculation number as a student. Then you log in with your password, which by default is your surname is monitored. But if you have changed it, please note what the password is going to be. Now, as for these students, the password has been entered. So I click on login to dashboard. That gets me to the dashboard of students. So right here, you see that the students have paid the school fee. So, and the course registration is still hungry. So what I all I need to do is do a click on cost registration. That opens up the cost registration page for your students. Here you see all the parallel courses for the students. That's the first thing to deal with. You don't leave your parallel courses, then move into current courses. You don't build much on nothing. You clear off your parallel courses. Then if there is a space for current courses, you put them. So to register, you do a click. We click on each of them as we might intend to register. And it should be noted as well that on when it comes to cost registration, you have to register both first and second semester. And please note this for first semester, there is a minimum credit unit, and for second semester, there is a minimum credit unit. For first semester, there is a maximum credit unit, and for second semester as well. What this implies is that there is, there is a minimum unit expected of you to be registered for a semester, and there is a maximum you can do. So, which means that if you have a excess carryover, you might not be able to hide everything. What I'm saying is this this implies that your cost registration should fall in between the minimum and the maximum units. You can't go beyond this. The, if you need to go beyond, that has to be decided by the school service. But you have to stay within. Now, and as you do a click on each of them, you see an increase. You see a change on this counter here. As you click the next one, the next uh, this. Let, let me do a click on SSC two one, which happens to be a first semester course. And it's a, it's a three unit course. And this is first semester. This is, um, I'm actually, if I've registered 14 courses, I mean 14 units. Once I do a click on it, you see it has increased to 14. So, with that, you'll be able to give yourself a guide as to the minimum and the maximum units that you that are expected to to register. So, when you are done, you simply click on save changes. There, then you can see that you have registered for that session, for that semester. Thank you.